SMG Motor Grader Series, Tips of Operation. Thanks for choosing the SMG Motor Grader Series from Sani. We have made this film to explain the wide application and operating tips of Sani's SMG Motor Grader Series to help you better understand and operate our products. We believe the content in this film will help you operate our equipment in a safer and more efficient manner and obtain faster and better return on investment. Attention! This movie is for you to correctly operate and maintain your equipment. It includes the technical and safety information you might need when operating this machine. Please abide by the laws and regulations of the countries or regions you are in when operating this machine. This movie is divided into several parts according to the different functions of the SMG 200 motor grader. You can select the part you need to play. Introduction to and instructions on operating the machine. Introduction to and instructions on operating the machine, Sani's SMG series of motor graders are among the best multifunctional earth scraping and transporting equipment in the world, featuring a full range of models and optional attachments. Their excellent maneuverability makes them capable of implementing a host of tasks, from high precision road surface finishing all the way to new road building. Safety is forever the first priority of an operator of a motor grader. You need to always be mindful of the whereabouts of other people at the site and to make inspection personnel and all other people at the site understand what you wish to do. You need to be very careful and tell people to stay within your site and never assume anything. If you can't see the people you are supposed to see, please stop the vehicle, find them and make sure they are safe. Always know your machine inside out. Read very carefully the operation and maintenance manuals of the machine. Exercise rigorous daily overall inspection of the machine and maintain the machine according to rules laid out in the manuals. Daily inspections include checking the tire pressure and the mounting bolts on the wheel. Tighten the loose bolts according to the rule. Checking the blade and cutting edge and all other attachments. Make sure the position of the blade side shift mounting stem meets your requirement. The screw hole on the left is for operation on the right side and the one on the right is for operation on the left side. The hydraulic parts of Sani motor graders are housed under the rear cowling, making inspection possible standing on the balance box on either side. Check whether or not the oil level of the engine is on scale of the dipstick. Check whether or not the oil level of the gearbox is on scale of the dipstick. Check the diesel filter and drain the water at the bottom of the fuel water separator. Check the air inlet filter element of the engine for blocking or breakage according to requirements of the user's manual. Clean or replace the blocked or broken filter element. Replacement must be installed properly. Check the hydraulic oil level to see whether or not it is on the scale of the content gauge. Check whether or not the anti-free solution level is on the scale of the content gauge. Check to see whether or not the engine belt has been damaged. Check the tubes and wires. Turn the power button to the on position and turn power on. Use the handrail, not the joystick, to access the driver's cab. The door on the cab can be placed at the open or closed position. Please fasten the seat belt on the seat. Make sure the gear selector is at the P position before starting the engine. Start the engine only when making sure the vehicle is in a safe area. Sound the horn to alert people nearby. Insert the key to the ignition lock and turn it to the one position. Check to see whether or not all indicators and instruments are displaying correctly. Turn the ignition key to the three position and don't release it until the engine has been started. Attention, one, to avoid damaging the starter. Each turning of the starting motor must not last longer than 10 seconds. When the engine cannot be started, turn the key back to the off position and wait for 30 seconds before trying again. Two, to protect the storage battery, wait for one to two minutes before starting the engine another time. Three, avoid high-speed rotation when the motor temperature is low. Four, put the gear at the neutral position before starting the engine, otherwise the engine will not be started. Five. Make the engine run idle for three to five minutes to cool off before turning off the engine. Inching pedal, used in confined areas to exert precise control of the movement of the vehicle. Step on the inching pedal to slow the engine down. Slowly release the pedal to speed up the engine. Do not use the inching pedal for too long. 
Accelerator pedal, used to adjust the engine speed. Step on the accelerator pedal to increase the engine speed. Use the right engine speed according to the work. Service braking pedal, step on the pedal to apply brake to the vehicle. Position and angle of the SMG motor grader's driving wheel can be adjusted according to the operator's needs. Joysticks. Actions of the motor grader are powerful by the hydraulic cylinder. Push or pull these joysticks to control the movements of the cylinders. Symbols of actions can be engraved on the joysticks, as shown in the figure. Instructions on operation. Please bear in mind three important rules on operation of the equipment. First, the travel speed is the key to control of the machine and productivity. Therefore, one must select the best gear position. Productivity will be affected if the speed is too slow, while precision will be difficult to control. And there will be washboards if the speed is too fast. Second, productivity and fuel efficiency will be improved if cutting angle of blade is reasonably adjusted. A motor grader normally would not push materials directly forward. Therefore, it consumes less power when the materials flow along the blade to one side of the vehicle. The cutting angle is made zero degree by default when the blade and the frame are at a 90 degree angle. Cutting angles between 20 and 30 degrees are best suited for light weighted and fluid materials, while cutting angles between 30 and 50 degrees are best for damp or sticky materials or when work is done in bumpy places or when it is bulk materials. Most tasks are completed with angles between 10 and 45 degrees. Third, proper use of blade tilting can improve productivity and help alleviate damages to the machine. Normally, when cutting pressed road surfaces that are stable, one can make the upper edge of the blade about 50 millimeters more forward than the cutting edge. In this way, the materials can flow better along the blade and will not impact the circle. If one continues to tilt the blade forward, throat clearance will be increased, and this helps the materials to roll forward more easily rather than rushing toward the circle. Attention! Before traveling, to ensure the machine can get over obstacles, you need to raise all tools, including the blade, front moldboard, and the rear scarifer, which were previously lowered, and turn the switch of the parking brake to the on position. Then you can adjust the gear selector to move forward or backward according to the road conditions and the directions of traveling. Digging and clearing up ditches. Keeping the draining ditch through and keep water off the road is very important through maneuvering the handle of the articulation cylinder to adjust the relative angle of the front and rear frame. The relative angle can be displayed through the articulation on the screen and can be readjusted according to the needs of work. The application of articulation makes the SMG series of motor graders capable of serving a wider range of purposes. It will even make the digging and clearing of ditches much easier. To dig a ditch or make a landslide slope, maneuver the handle of the articulation cylinder. First check the installation position of the extended cylinder mounting block. The mounting hole on the left is for extending the working range of the right-hand side. And the mounting hole on the right-hand side is for extending the working range of the left-hand side. Then you operate the lifting cylinder and the oscillation cylinder to move the drawbar to where the ditch is to be dug. Put the blade on the ground. Operate the switch of the lock pin cylinder in the driving cap to release the locking pin from the pin hole. Operating the lifting cylinder and the oscillation cylinder to turn the link arm so that the locking pin can be plugged in to the pinhole away from the ditch. If the ditch is on the left-hand side, use the pinhole on the right most side. Refer to the rating plate on the revolting shaft of the right oscillating arm. Align the cylinder pin and the pinhole and plug the pin into the pinhole. Forming the road shoulders and clearing it up. Now you can tidy up the road shoulders after the side slope of the drainage ditch has been completed. You can clear up the materials on the road shoulders when the body is articulated or level and straight. 
Put the front part of the blade in the center of the machine or inside the front wheels. Move the drawbar away from the direction of the ditch so as to obtain maximum cutting angle. Leave the rear end of the blade outside the rear wheels. Tilt the front wheels toward the rear part of the blade and use a combination of large cutting angles of the blade and moderate blade load to prevent the front part of the machine from gliding into the ditch. Attempting to push too much material in one go might result in difficulty in controlling the machine. To maintain the evenness and tidiness of the shoulders and prevent materials from falling back into the ditch, it is necessary to adopt large cutting angles of the blade to make the materials flow toward the space in between the rear wheels. When operate on the shoulders, if it is hard for materials to roll and flow along the blade, you can use the technique of articulation. You can choose from the following three changes. Articulate the body to angles between 15 and 20 degrees and allow a rear wheel to travel at the bottom of the side slope. Make the two front wheels stride over the material pile on a shoulder and move large material piles by a combination of speed control and large blade cutting angles. Two. Articulate the machine, but do not allow the two front wheels to stride over the material pile. Make all wheels travel on the road and push the materials to the outside of the rear wheel. This applies to material piles of all sizes. 3. Readjust the link arm. Use maximum blade cutting angles. Make all wheels travel on the road and push the materials to the space in between the rear wheels. You can carve out a non-hardened shoulder 900 to 1800 millimeters wide on the hardened road surface by putting the connecting rod on the extreme position on one side. Using the connecting rod positions is the only way to obtain large blade cutting angle. Road surface maintenance. You can start to maintain the road surface after tidying up the shoulders. A good road crown is helpful for draining away water. The gradient of the road crown is normally between 48 to 1 and 48 to 2. To obtain the best effect, work should be done when the road surface is damp, such as after the rain or being sprayed by a road sprinkler. Materials are better mixed when they are damp. Now you can rebuild the road crown. Tilt the blade forward about 50 millimeters as opposed to the cutting edge. Spend sufficient time on coning the crown and push the material piles to about 600 millimeters away from the center of the road. Next, allow the two front wheels to stride over the material piles with one front wheel right on top of or next to the central line. Be careful not to cut the center of the road. A flat crown would reduce the lifespan of the road. When cutting at the side of the road, dig sufficiently deep to ensure there is enough material for building the crown. When there is not enough material, you can obtain them from the shoulder of one side or the draining ditch. After a crown has been built, you might need some time to give it a final polishing, including getting rid of large rocks, garbage, or weeds. When working at turnings of the road, the key is to keep the gradient of the road surface consistent. The sharper the turn, the greater the gradient. Under these conditions, you can cut in the middle of the road. This is because what you want to have here is a slope rather than a crown. Remember not to cut the shoulder on the outside of the road to avoid a slope turning into a crown. Normally, the shoulder on the outside needs to be heightened. When going through the last procedure, spread out the materials evenly and do not leave materials on the road surface in piles. When maintaining heavy haul roads, make sure gradient of side slope smaller than 2 to 1. Steep slope will become unstable under heavy pressure of heavy vehicles. After the side slope has been completed, the raised part should be plain and the sunken part should be filled and leveled up so as to maintain consistent evenness and gradients. An even road surface with consistent gradient produces smaller rolling resistance and heavy vehicles do not need to switch to lower gears to travel on it. Even very small changes in the evenness and gradient of the road will undermine the efficiency of the vehicles. It's important to remove loose and sharp-edged rocks on the road as a tire burst can be very dangerous to both the driver and other people at or near the site. Road surface finishing. This next application can be a real test of the operator's skills, finishing the road surface according to the survey mark. Finishing can refer to the last procedure in road building, preparatory work for paving asphalt or concrete, or leveling of the surface of the roadbed before adding line. Since requirement of precision is by the millimeter, the precise maneuverability and vast vision of the SMG series motor graders become very important and useful. For the last leg of the journey of your work, you need to look steadily at the marks on the road ahead. When the blade scratches past every mark, the key is to have effective coordination and communication with the surveyor. If work does not meet the requirements of the marks, it will not pass quality acceptance. Before nearing a mark, make sure the signals you use to communicate with the surveyor are quantitative. 
Do not expect to correct deviation when you are very near the mark. As hasty correction in short distance will lead to overall inconsistency and irregularity, you should constantly adjust in the whole process of driving toward the marks. It is easier to judge how to correct the uneven parts some distance from the objects. Materials spreading and mixing. Construction materials transported by trucks often need to be spread when building a road. A motor grader is the most ideal equipment for this type of work. If you want your work to become easy from the start, you need to communicate with the truck drivers early on by asking them to dump the materials in piles with proper distance from one another. The piles should neither be too close nor too far apart, nor dumped outside the working area. Working from one side of the piles is the most effective. Do not try to go through the center of the piles, as it is a waste of time and fuel. It's correct to adopt a linear mode as it is easier to control the machine. The front wheel should always travel on even surface of the road. Bend the body by 15 to 18 degrees. In this way, the rear wheels, that is, the driving wheels, will follow the rear part of the blade to obtain maximum productivity. Making the cutting angle of the blade sharp angles of 30 to 40 degrees. Adjust the load to make the machine travel forward with ease and spread the materials evenly on the surface of the road. Epilogue. The Sani SMG series of motor graders feature outstanding power, operability, multifunctionality, and maneuverability. They can be used to serve a host of purposes including building and maintaining roads and clearing ice and snow. The general public hopes the road can be used longer and get maintained. Your work is important for realizing all these. Work hard to practice the operating skills and use them in all applications. Work safety is your first priority. The public and yourself will be proud of your excellent work. The more you use your Sani SMG series motor graders and the longer you use them, the better your skills will be. You will also feel more clearly the effect brought about by the reliability, durability, and fuel efficiency of the machines. Sani's motor graders are designed for their operators. They are motor graded with higher productivity and lower operating costs.